All right, so a couple years ago, we decided to do a little bit of an experiment, and this video is the result of that experiment. So uh, we had a baby boy named Harrison, and we decided to go ahead and buy three different car seats for him after his infant car seat was out. And I wanted to really just see which is the best of the three that were on the market. These are the ones that we saw at Babies R Us and like Amazon and stuff. And so we wanted to just give him a try. And I really just wanted to see if the reviews out there were accurate and if the company's claims to these car seats were accurate as well. And from somebody that was not a parent previous to this whole venture, like is it easy to actually pick up this car seat and actually run with it? And this video is kind of the results of that. So hopefully you guys find it uh, somewhat informative. I know that there are actually three different price points for these car seats. And part of the reason why I wanted to choose uh, to buy three different ones in three different ranges is to see if the more expensive one was actually worth paying for or not. So anyways, let's go ahead and try to get started in this video. I do want to note, however, that uh, any of these car seats from the beginning would be a great choice for you to have as a car seat. And some of the issues that I'm going to show you guys in this video, some people are going to be like, well, I don't, I have that car seat and I don't have that issue. And that's totally fine. There's a chance that you probably got more accustomed to one individual car seat versus us having to adapt to potentially three different types of car seats. And so I am just giving you guys my opinion on which ones are the most user friendly. And uh, hopefully you guys will understand that, that is where I'm coming from. So for anybody that just came to this video just to really see which one is the best and you just want me to cut to the chase, I'm going to let you guys know right now that the next fit zip on the left, and I don't know how to say the company name. I know it's not Chico, but that's how I'm going to say it. Chico, uh, that is the best one by far in our opinions. It was the best one for a number of reasons, and I'll get to those in just a second. But for those just wanting to know that information, we absolutely love that one the best. The worst one is the one right next to it. In our opinion, the Britax Marathon Click Tight was just terrible across the board. It was not a good car seat and not easy to use. And the other one that was decent and, and one that if you're on a budget, it's probably the better choice. So that's just a quick breakdown of our recommendations off the bat. If you guys want to stick around for more of the details of why we decided those are our choices, now is the time for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and go with the Britax Marathon click tight and let you guys just know what we did not like about this car seat. At first glance, it looks like I, and honestly, I thought this one would have probably been the best just because we had the Britax um, infant car seat and we really liked that one. But the design of this one is just bizarre. It's not easy to adjust. The straps on the legs, especially for Harrison when he sits in the car seat, give him way too much pressure around his thighs and there's no real easy way to adjust that. I don't understand how or why, but the overall like lockdown is just bizarre over top of him and it just does not fit. So one other thing that I think is kind of annoying is the cup holder. It just falls off really, really easily. It has kind of a really bad design on the side of the car seat. Now I like that it's close to Harrison. You can actually grab his snacks or his drink because it's fairly close, but it doesn't really work very well if it comes off really easily. And it's actually warped the car seat plastic around where it's supposed to latch onto. So it's just not a very good solid design in my opinion. The overall mounting of the car seat in the car is the, definitely the most difficult in my opinion out of all three because it doesn't use the regular kind of click in hooks. It, it actually, has this weird little old school latch thing that you have to flip and clip on, which is great to get on in the car seat. It's not that difficult, but it's really difficult to get off. But by far the thing that I hate the most about this car seat is the fact that you have to reach your fingers in so darn far to actually be able to unclip uh, the buckles. Like it's super awkward and it's really bizarre how deep that little hole is to be able to actually click the button. And I find that a little bit annoying. Maybe there's a safety reason why. So the kid can't reach in there and do that. And I can respect that. But when you can't actually reach your fingers in there either and actually unclip it very easily, I find it just fairly uh, like distracting. And the last thing that I really didn't like about this car seat is the overall shape inside the car is actually really bizarre. Like the base and the back part, like I get you can tilt the, the car seat, but there's such a huge gap in the back lower bottom section of the car seat that it makes it really difficult to actually get in the car seat and actually cinch it down as tight as you can. Uh, so I thought the overall shape of that was a little bit odd. Now, a couple of things that I really do actually like about this car seat is one, the headrest is really easy to adjust and two, the fact that the, um, the car seat is fairly washable. I think that both of those are nice features of the, of the car seat and aesthetically I think it looks nice but overall it was just the worst investment out of the three car seats. 
So the next car seat I wanted to give you guys information on is the Graco Forever 4-in-1. As I mentioned, this one is a good car seat, but uh, there were some things that we liked and a couple things that we didn't like. One that we didn't like is the crotch padding. The fact that there was no crotch padding where the buckle was was a little bit annoying. The other two had really nice padding uh, between that area, which is kind of a plus. Um, the other thing is that the release is just the opposite of what you would expect. You won't push down, you have, have to dig in and pull back. And I think that that was a little bit odd. Part of the reason might just be because we're not used to it and uh, we are used to the Chico one instead because that is our primary. The other thing that um, we really didn't like about this design was the cup holders. While it's awesome that they actually have two and that is a plus, um, it's kind of a negative, at least in the earlier years, because Harrison was too short to be able to reach the cup holders. They're too far uh, forward. And so he's strapped so far back that he actually couldn't reach his snacks and stuff uh, in the car. So that was kind of a bummer. A couple other small things is the cushioning on the uh, straps across the chest. Those things um, fall off pretty easily as well. So that's not that fun that they just fall off or they just get twisted really easily. And just the overall materials in the car seat are not the greatest. It just is not as breathable. And if it gets really hot in the car seat in general, like our kid is really sensitive skinned, so it's not the best probably for him. So some of the things that we do like about the car seat, similar to the other two, it's really easy to adjust the uh, headrest as well as the uh, decline of the seat. And also the straps and the adjustment of the car seat are fairly easy to get used to and easy to um, attach and detach. So all of the base fundamental things that you look for in a car seat are definitely here with this one. So moving on, we wanted to go ahead and cover the Chico Next Fit Zip, and I apologize again, I'm not saying it right. I already know this car seat uh, definitely was our favorite and still is to this date. And I'll get into some of the things we don't like first and then some of the things that we like. Number one is the cup holder. Similar to the other one, it falls off fairly easily, but it is more uh, sturdy than the Britax one. However, it does um, only have one cup holder, so that is kind of a negative. I wish it had two, but the placement is good. He can definitely reach it, and it li I like the fact that it's a little bit padded. I will say, however, that all three of the cup holders are a little bit small. None of them actually fit those Contigo travel packs or the uh, Camelback ones, basically the little sip cups that are for traveling. None of them fit them, and that's kind of a bummer to see. And the only other thing that we really didn't like about this car seat is when you do push the release button, the um, strap actually gets twisted inside a little bit and that is kind of frustrating. You have to just wiggle it side to side before you push the button and then pull. Otherwise it gets twisted and it becomes difficult to actually get uh, it to release. So one of the reasons why we like this car seat the most out of the others, uh, one, it's just really, really easy to install. It's really comfortable. The materials are really nice. And this zip version, you can actually unzip and then get it washed, which is super easy to do. And it's really, really convenient, especially when you have a messy kid that eats fruit snacks out of the cup and drops them in his seat. And then they get stuck to his butt and the car seat and so on and so on. So those things are really, really nice to be able to have and wash so it looks brand new and you can literally detach it and wash it in the washing machine. That's the hugest advantage, I think, along with the comfort and just easeability to use. I also really like the material in general. This is the air version, so it is really breathable and it has kind of a neoprene covering. So it's just all in all uh, the best out of the three car seats and definitely worth paying the premium price for getting that. And the comfort for the kid is super important because for us, he travels in a car seat for 40 minutes, maybe an hour in a day because he has to travel uh, to do two different cities at least twice a week. So it's really important that he's comfortable and cool uh, when it's hot and the windows are up and the sun's beaming through. Just making sure that he's cool is really important to us. As I mentioned with the other car seats, the headrest is really easy to adjust. Also, the positioning is really easy to recline and the um, straps are really easy to get inside of the car seat in the vehicle and the straps are fairly easy to loosen as well and just overall understanding how to use the car seat this is pretty much one that you can use without having to put too much thought into and understanding all of the intricate details of how the car seat works it just is a functional car seat but it has a really sleek design in my opinion and it has the best materials for the child well, that's pretty much it. That's the reason why this is our favorite one hands down of the three. If we had a choice to do this all over again, I would definitely just get the same car seat of the Chico Next Fit Zip. I think it is the best of the best that is out there, at least the ones that we tried. Uh, but you guys can weigh in in the comment section and let us know uh, what did we get right, what did we get wrong. We're not experts, we're parents, right? And um, I just tell that to our kids when we get older, I guess. 
But, uh, but yeah, we're, we're just parents and we're trying to find the best products that can keep our kids safe and that are functional for us to be able to use. And this was the best for us. If you guys are interested in buying this one or the other two car seats, feel free to check the links in the description to Amazon. And um, hopefully this video was somewhat informative for any of you parents that are on the market for a car seat. Thank you for stopping by and watching the video and have a good rest of the day.